Well, we all know washing your hands is essential if you're working in the kitchen. So we want to talk a little bit about making your kitchen time a little bit more productive. Here with some easy breezy kitchen hacks, self-proclaimed world's funniest professional home economist and cookbook author, Marilyn Smith. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am excellent. Okay, so we're going to talk about some hacks you can do in the kitchen. Yes. Um, I saw bacon and cookies, so I'm already happy. <laughs> what do you want to start with? Focus on me. Right, right. We'll get you, there. You, you. Yeah. Okay, so I like to call these, if you'd gone to grade 8 home ec, you might have learned all this stuff. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, that's okay. a good title. The first one we're going to do is how to make spreadable butter. Okay, you know you ah. go to the grocery store and you spend a whole bunch of money so that you can take the butter out and just spread it right away. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to make it at home. So even if you get the big, hard stick of butter, yes. you can make it spreadable. You can make it spreadable. Okay, okay. so now I buy unsalted butter, yeah. which doesn't last as long as salted butter, but then it lets me have the control. Yes. And when butter's on sale, I buy it and I put it into uh, half cups. Containers. Now you can do this one to one, so you could do a whole cup of butter if you wanted. Okay. And so when you go a whole cup of butter, you do a whole cup of canola oil. Okay. Okay. So I'm adding canola oil, but I did a half cup. Yeah. So one to one ratio. Yeah. Uh, and you need an immersion blender or a mix master or something like okay, that. Okay. Because we're blending this together. We are blending this together, and I love power tools. So here we go. Oh yeah. boy. Would I have learned this in grade eight home act? No. <laughs> Unless you had a really cool home title. Teacher. Oh, come on. I was like, I actually met one of my former students in the bra department, and I asked her, like, you know, yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, awkward. hi. You know, and I go, well, what did you learn from me? She goes, well, I learned a lot of odd things, but my favorite <laughs> one was how a chicken walked. And it's like, what? Anyway, what? so, yeah, anyway. I that does talk. sound like something that something would come up that in your lectures, me, I yeah. Lee and Bucks. I showed them what, it, what a chicken looked like when it was walking across oh, the damn table. Yeah. So, anyway, you're going to do this until it, see how, oh, there it went. It's now gone. it's working. It's, yeah. Now, so, you're, you basically emulsified it. It's so it, creamy It's now. so creamy now, but it's mm -hmm. going to be too spreadable. Now, if you That's wanted true. to add a little bit of salt because it's a preservative, yes. then you can add whatever kind of salt you want. Yeah. And then the trick is, is that you're going to put it into a little container, yes. and you're going to store it in the refrigerator, and when you want to have some oh. butter on your bread, it is spreadable. That's great. Isn't that a neat idea? Yeah, because and, you want people, you know, not reaching for the margarine. You still want to have the butter, but make it spreadable without spending all that money exactly. for the spreadable butter. And I'm it's using good. canola oil, so I'm giving it a heart healthy fat. It's really Very great if you're good. making massive sandwiches, like a tea party or something. Yes. It's a wonderful thing. Excellent. Okay, next little tip is that, okay, how do you get the little uh, the little top out of the strawberry? I cut them off. Okay, well, that's a good idea, too. <laughs> but you can a get a straw yes. and just stick it right up the bottom. And I love that you have the reusable straws, too. Poopy out. Oh, ta so now you've got, you know, basically you've uh, taken the pit out of the strawberry. Isn't that's that cute? Right. That's a neat idea. That's very cute. I love the reusable straws. Yeah, they're important. I really do. It I is. Think and that's way more fun than cutting off all the tops like I did this morning for the kids' breakfast. There you go. And you yeah. get kids to do it because it's a fun toy. It's fun. Right? It's a fun thing. Yes. All right. How do you get more citrus out of, uh, uh, more juice out of citrus? Yeah. You can roll it really, really hard mm -hmm. or you can stick it in the microwave for about 10 I seconds. I knew that one. Is that the one you do? I knew that yeah, one. Yeah, it's good. It helps. It does help. Now here's one of my favorite ones. So a okay. piece of ginger you buy. Now when you buy ginger, try to buy something that is not all messed up, okay? So there's no, <laughs> somebody, some people go and they go, oh, I don't like that bit, so I'm just going to pull it off. No! No. no. So buy one that nobody <laughs> no. did that to, okay? Yeah. And then, okay, so you're going to grate it or you're going to do whatever it is you're going to want with it. Well, what do you do with it next? Mm -hmm. You put it in the freezer. Freezer! And, and you freeze your ginger and anytime you want it, you take it out and you grate it while it's frozen. Oh. Or one of my other ideas I didn't know is that. that if you get a big piece of ginger because it was on sale, yeah. you sl it, you've washed this obviously, and I leave yeah. the peel on, you just slice it into slices mm -hmm. and you freeze the slices. And so if you have a cold or mm -hmm. you want to have a little bit of ginger, you just take these out of the freezer and pop them into boiling water. Oh, very okay? cool. Okay, next one, how do you score and make a sweet potato fries? Yes. You use a apple core to make the impression. Is it's like really a template. Work? Oh, okay, I thought you were going to try and push that no. through. No, no, and then it's all of a sudden hard. you have a guide where the knife goes. Oh, I love and that. And so everything is all the same size, okay? That is uh, good. Salad dressing. Everyone, every time I make my coleslaw on uh, on Insta Story, people go, mm -hmm. what is your salad dressing? Mm -hmm. When, this is a big honking bottle of uh, mayonnaise, Mayo. okay? So whenever that's almost empty, uh -huh. I, I just add apple cider vinegar to mm. it and I shake it. 
So wow, you add, how complicated. If the, and if you want to make it a little sweeter, you add some maple syrup. Yes, absolutely. And there we go, is the quickest salad dressing. That's very smart. You didn't throw anything out. No. Nope. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yep. Still uh, using the container, it's all good. Exactly. Uh, if you want to do the same thing with chicken, this is really excellent with chicken. You just pour soy sauce into extra uh, marmalade. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, we're going to get to sweet two things. Okay, sweet yeah. and sour. This, let's look at this brown sugar. It's a clump. It's a clump. Yeah. Don't throw it out. Yeah. You put it in a container with some uh, a slice of brown, uh, whatever kind of bread you want. Yeah. I did this last night. Look at that. Oh wow! Airtight container. Airtight is that what we're container. For? Now, okay. some people put apples in, but I think it goes slimy. Other people have this little disc you can buy. Yeah. Just put a piece of bread in. You Very take good. the bread out as soon as it's soft. And the last thing is that if you want to be a superstar, rock star, and yes, have fresh I do. cookies all the time. Yes, I so do. So you're going to get one. Okay. Yeah. So you make your cookie dough. And then you freeze it into uh, chunks, into okay. little pieces, mm -hmm. and you freeze it, and then you just take them and stick them on a cookie sheet and bake them. Oh, amazing! Oh, and there's they're a all ready to go. They're all ready to go. And they can don't do it on the top of your stove; it'll just be a huge mess. Yeah. Put it in the oven on parchment paper in a rack. This takes about 30 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. No mess. You're welcome. And it's house perfume. Oh, I know. Mm. Scott was so excited about this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was.